Hello everyone, my name is Bradley, I have a Brad Taste of Music, and listen, okay, you read the title, you know exactly what's going on, you see this outfit, alright, it's coming off, alright, we're not doing this angel bullshit as much as I'd like to do it, as this is extremely uncomfortable, and these wings, the green screen's not really a big fan of them. Maury Calliope, this is, uh, this is the big internet YouTube, uh, persona of, uh, of Karen... What's her name? Anyways, we listened to the entirety of her other persona, which was Demon Dice. And let me tell you right now, Demon Dice's discography is one of the worst I've ever explored in my life. Um, but I'm also kind of obsessed with this person, and I completely understand why they are a popular internet personality. I get why they're popular. They are so strange. The music they make is so bad that I can't help but just be blown away by the fact that this is a, a real person that exists. So... Today, people are like, Bradley, you don't like the Demon Dice stuff? Maybe you'll like uh, Maury Calliope, her other persona, and that's that's why we're here today, okay? For the people who are like, oh, that's not fair, you can't just go into the Demon Dice stuff and not check out her other stuff. I'm just kidding, nobody's like that. For the most part, people agree that that Demon Dice shit's pretty terrible. But yeah, so I've already given up seven hours of my life to this person, I'm like, what's another three? I'm curious to see what else they got. So, uh, so without further ado... Let's go. She's got five projects under her belt, which is uh, less than the Demon Dice shit. She's got three EPs, Deadbeats, Your Mori, and Your Mori Lo-Fi album, as well as Unalive and Shinigami Note, which apparently isn't even out yet. Uh, it's coming out soon. She released a new song for that, which was Mira Mira, uh, which we will, of course, listen to. And uh, yeah, so apparently this is in uh, chronological order. First song. Lots of Japanese. R.I.P. <laughs> Buzz! It's the same bullshit. It's the same bullshit. Are you kidding me? Modern day killers really must hate fun more often. People taking lives, rocking knives and guns. We live in a society with murder. We live in a real world society. Um, just like her previous outfit, she's rapping. <laughs> but. Uh, unlike that, I feel like she's definitely taking the back seat to the beat here as uh, she seems like a non-entity anytime I'm paying attention to her. It's pretty bad, but uh, it's easier to zone her out here. Uh, yeah, the beat's okay here. I, I will say that the beat's not as bad as some of the other shit. Amelia says, personally, my least favorite song from Mori, I, I believe it goes up from here. This is her most popular song, so it, it does, uh, so you're actually wrong. This is actually her best song, all right? What's up, it's Bradley here, Offline Bradley, I'll call it, not even Future Bradley, Offline Bradley, okay? Now that, now that's a title right there, all right? Now that's, I'm proud of that one. Uh, yeah, the, uh, this actually is not a bad song. I uh, think that this is an okay start to her persona, and it kind of has what I like about the only song that I really liked uh, from Demon Dice, which was Alcatraz. <laughs> Oh my sweet mother of God. See, this is what I mean when I say I'm obsessed with this person. Okay, who the fuck else is doing this crazy shit? Like, I think it sounds terrible. I think it's completely unbearable. But, am I entertained? Of course. That's how I was able to sit through seven hours of Demon Dice. It was the worst shit I've ever heard in my life. With the worst social commentary, super personal lyrics. This seems like it's playing more into a character, though, I will say. It, it, it seems like it's just trying to lean into what they were doing with, like, Gang Gang Kawaii. I'd rather listen to this than, one, you know, like, the new One Republic album, to be fair. You know, if, if I'm forced to sit here and suffer, at least I'm suffering to something that's entertainingly bad. <laughs> Wow, that was actually significantly better than anything I've heard from Demon Dice. I'm going to give the song a shrug. Why? Because it's fucking entertaining. That's why. I did not hate that. I really didn't. I thought it was like the, the pieces here that were absurd and terrible. It, it, unlike the Demon Dice shit, felt absurd and terrible in a more interesting way. I really don't think that this is nearly as bad as the Demon Dice stuff. And I will say that I think part of that's the fact that uh, Mori is clearly fully invested in this other character. It isn't just trying to uh, give personal story while also trying to play this Demon Dice character. It's very clearly, uh, you know, in a persona. That really does matter. What sucked about Demon Dice was the social commentary, like, mixed in with, like, oh, I grew up in a Japanese girl. It was like the personal storytelling was dog shit. 
And you can tell that this was three years after this. This does feel like a, a, a somewhat of a step up. The wrapping, I don't like the wrapping. I don't like the, the, the singing all that much, but you know what? It, it takes you on a roller coaster ride of fuck shit and I'm okay with it. Hey, maybe call it a, uh, what, what's, what's the word? Stockholm Syndrome? Next song, Reaper Rapper. Reaper Rapper, huh? No, not this shit, not the- Oh my god, I'm not one of those sweet girls. I surprised you, now let me be super crazy and edgy. Here we go. Okay, let me put it like this. Hey guys, why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. See, now that I lowered your expectations with that joke, let me tell you a better joke, okay? And then I just- I don't have any good jokes because I'm not a funny guy, but if I did have a good joke, that's why I'd throw a good joke in. That's not a great joke and trick you into thinking that it's a great joke because I put a bad joke in, except for it would actually fail because that's the entire idea of it and it's stupid and cringe. No expectations at all, tank of a gift because I like to diss myself along with all of my friends. Through the ones that lose a fair and outcome. Once some come and get it, man, we're ruthless. But how am I gonna prove this without my sight? Then who's less? I think that I'm sinking. How the breath of heat's getting to me? You know what also helps? So I think this is pretty bad, but I think that it's gotten better as the beat dropped. All right, I spent the last, I spent seven hours yesterday, okay, playing uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses, okay, which I think is going to heavily uh, sway my brain into thinking what I'm listening to is actually quirky and interesting, unfortunately. So uh, I might, I might not be as, uh, as, as critical and biased and edgy as I usually am. Yeah, no, that game is amazing. So, you know, if, if I'm not as offended by the anime shit, it's because I've been indoctrinated in the anime gaming cult. <laughs> Oh, this hook. Oh, this is rough. Also, apparently this was the first track of the, uh, of the album. Which means, it can't be hell. But if you pronounce it the way that I just did, it actually means there is no salt. Boobs out of ten. <laughs> so, so apparently, uh, Mori Calliope is a reaper rapper. Okay, so she's a grim reaper, and that's probably why all these songs are about death. And that's the character she's playing here. What I like a lot about this character is she seems a lot less serious about getting a message out there and uh, proving that they're a great rapper as opposed to Demon Dice. I think the fact that it's not trying as hard makes it significantly more likable, which the biggest issue with Demon Dice was how fucking unlikable and serious it was taking itself. So, admittingly, I don't hate this nearly as much as, uh, as I did the Demon Dice stuff. Um, so, yeah, as, as much as I'd love to be indoctrinated in the cult of uh, of the worst you know this is the worst music of all time i don't hate this as much as everyone else i'd give it a shrug i think the fact that it's so adhd all over the place is clearly intentional um, and it keeps it interesting for me despite how cringe it can possibly be i'd very much take stimulating over boring um so yeah stand up no i'm not gonna stand up i have a boner okay that's that's un i can't do that this is still unself-aware cringy crap yeah but not nearly at the degree of demon dice not even close like seriously listen to um what, what is the song that's like coming from the land of the gangsters oh yeah crazy beachy no like seriously listen to crazy beachy and then tell me that this this is not like significantly more self-aware <laughs> No, it is not the same. <laughs> okay, so now now that you have the context that I've really suffered through the worst of the worst, okay? You understand. <laughs> Next song, Dead Beats. Okay, beats you're okay. 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 
know these lyrics are so bad, but I'm telling you right now, man. Like the it, see, sometimes your brain just goes into self defense mode, and you just gotta ignore everything you're hearing, and appreciate the beat and the bump. You know, because the song has a bit of bump, but if you start paying attention to the lyrics, it becomes really unfortunate. Especially this part where it's like. Um, Name drops, drain fools dry, I'm ruthless, grab a little auto-tune, then abuse it, two clicks, beep boop, sounds like music, new hits, cheap loops, samples, free beats, loose fit, shit design, like a pair of Yeezys. I will say this little segment here, uh, new hits, cheap loops, samples, free beats, loose fit, shit design, like a pair of Yeezys does kind of slap though. See, th there was no fucking wordplay like that on the Demon Dice stuff. Let's be real here, okay? Yeah, let's just throw all the momentum in the toilet, of course. Wow. <laughs> he grabbed the smile. I grabbed the smiley ball. It's it's from ADHD. I need something to hold on to. Uh, yeah, that song was uh, that was an incredible song. Truly incredible. There were moments in there I actually liked. Admittingly, I think there are moments there that absolutely kill the song. But I will say that the uh, that the insane energy of that track, uh, feeling like a like a ball bouncing around the room, while that usually is a horrible thing for the demon dice stuff, works a little bit better here with this kind of crazy beat. That being said, a lot of these lyrics are still really awful. That being said, being said, it's not as bad as the Demon Dice stuff. I'd give it a low shrug. Everything around here is about the same uh, point here as I think that there actually is something redeemable about each one of these tracks. Um, something actually, like, I'd even say good within one of these tracks, um, but they still have the same problems that I have with a lot of her other music, so, you know. I'm telling you, man, yeah, it, sitting through Demon Dice and then coming to this, okay, it's a whole different experience, all right? You gotta, you gotta, you really gotta listen to every Demon Dice song, you know, to really understand this music. It's true. Next song, live again. Oh, that sounds terrible. Thanks for watching what I put out behind. Kong Shukang, Just when she was entertainingly awful. Same, dude. That entertainingly awful stuff was entertainingly good. Because of how awful it was. It's good entertainment. And and this is just quite possibly the most boring possible shit. Like this is this is everything I wanted this not to be. Some sort of uh, like anime karaoke session. This this is the worst song. See this, this is in my opinion about as bad as it gets. Wow! Congratulations, Mori. You managed to take away everything that made you unique in any sort of way and and just water it down to the most boring possible run of the mill anime background music song. I'd give that song a red headphones. I think that's by far uh, my least favorite song and it's because it's just unadventurous, playing it super safe, uh, and just simply not my style. Took away the only thing that I liked from the music, the fact that it was entertaining. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the very first project here, which is Dead Beats. And I gotta, I gotta admit to you guys, this is, this is by far, and I'm not even kidding, by far the best project that this person has come out with. It's not even close. Like, if we're, if we're saying all the Demon Dice stuff, okay, this is a massive improvement. Well, I do think that it's boring as shit, and I think that it's, it's not even trying. That's why it's good. It's not even fucking trying. That should show you how bad the Demon Dice stuff is. To where, if, when you actually try, when you actually put in the effort and fail as hard as the Demon Dice stuff does, okay, that shit is like a thousand times worse than not even trying at all and just riffing it. That should really say a lot about this shit. All right, I give this project overall album of the year. It's album of the year. That's right. Oh, uh, uh, you guys are just saying what the site is, but 
But if you take it out of context, they're saying it's album of the year, ladies and gentlemen. We got the album of the year. All right, next. Your streamer is a gr Cursed Knight. Okay, so Cursed Knight's a single. It's my top five is Mori, Mori, Mori. Take my hands, my clothes, or my throat is not gonna rap that I'm cursed. My words got heavy and sure enough to stand from it. My Bruh. It's the same shit. Oi, we don't need this fucking melodramatic journal session, dude. Sire, you're right, huh? It's fine, I'll tell you that much. Adventures ought to be remembered as such, but I'm not well. Not to say, not to mar. And thinking that others will only run from me. Because as you know, I'm death, you heard about me. I'm kind of- Fortunately for, uh, for Karen here, her lyrics are so self-indulgent in whatever fucking world she's a part of. That she's managed to successfully create lo-fi hip-hop background noise. That, in my opinion, first of all, it's boring as shit, but it's more tolerable than the uh, than self-conscious rap. Shut the lid tight. It's complicated. Could you not look inside? Chris Knight is so fucking boring. I'm just going to uh, I'm going to pretend like that. The song just ends right there. The beat's pretty good. It's uh, it's background noise. I hate background noise. I give it a red headphones. The song is boring. Dog is a motherfucker. All right, next. I know people in the comments are gonna say, Brad, you just don't get the deep message of this song. No, I do. I get pretty much every single reference being said here. It's, it's just boring. It's boring ass music. It's like Tupac to Lil Xan. You know what I'm saying? This is this is this is my Tupac, and I'm Lil Xan. All right. That's that's just how it goes. All right, next song is called Cloudy Sheep. Song by Calliope Mori. It's someone else who she. Hey, look, I don't even want to know what kind of people look at this shit. All right, I don't even want to know what kind of people watch this channel. All right, this shit will put you on a watch list. My God. Any one of you who are watching this video. You are now officially on a government watch list. Next song, uh, Off With Their Heads, Calliope Mori. All right, is this a single? This beat's great. Production's pretty stellar. Already off to a good start, though I think, again, uh, Calliope Mori, probably the weakest song of this, uh, weakest part of this song. Holy sweet mother of God, this dubstep crap sounds terrible. She's mixed so quietly in this shit, dude. What the fuck? Bro, what the fuck is this? You can do this with closed captions? Yo, she's such an innovator. I didn't even know this was a thing. You guys see this karaoke closed caption bullshit? This is amazing. This is a great feature. This is the most nothing music ever, and the fact that she released a lo-fi album helps me enjoy this because I realize that you're not supposed to actually listen to the lyrics, and anyone who does, I'm sorry, you guys are actually the suckers here. You guys are the ones who are disappointed. Me? I'm here cruising. I mean, pretzels. I'm just listening to the beat, trying to ignore uh, whatever the fuck's being said, and I'm having a decent time. Oh, I fucking hate the dubstep though, dude. That shit sounds so awkward. Let me uh, uh, let me demonstrate to you guys how to rap and and leave it a memorable, leave a leave an impression, okay? Boom, boom, boom. So crack to your sister on a Sunday. Got my gun from the gun store. It's a fun day, bitch. I do my life the fun way, bitch. I feel like Kanye. Yeah, you know me. I be eating. <laughs> Caliente, whatever the fuck that is. I think that means hot in Spanish. Bitch! <laughs> oh my money coming pesos. And you know that my <laughs> words come in say so's. Yeah, I'm speaking in quotes. Cause yeah. <laughs> the, thank you, thank you. I know, I know. I suck crap. So yeah, it's uh it's really easy to rap. Demon Dice did it. Without even having any experience, okay? All you need to do is uh, is add a couple gunshots to make the beat legitimate um, and come from the land of the gangsters. I like how loud this song is. It allows me to drown out um, 
uh, Calliope Mori, which is actually a really good thing. All right, I give the song Shrug, okay? It's not as boring as the last one. It, I'd even say that some of the bad things about it uh, keep it more entertaining than the last one we heard. Future Bradley here, this song fucking sucks ass. It's a red headphones without a doubt in my mind, oh my god. All right, next, Ibashu, where I belong. Oh god. Dude, the production here is so much better than the last fucking shit that I heard. Oh my god, next! I got nothing to say about this one. Alright, now we're finally on to the next project that she released, Your Mori, which I think is a play on your mom, okay? And she definitely looks mommy as fuck on this cover, if I do say so myself, which of course, you know, I am, of course, a, a great waifu enthusiast. Cool looking video. Damn it, just says music. How are you gonna have someone do karaoke, closed captions, and then it just says fucking music? And it does sound like a living tombstone. Good observation. Yeah, right. Let's sit the crosswalk. Let's talk and keep up. You can't keep me now. We're looking like it all sleeping up. Dude, this video is so good. It's making me actually forget that I'm listening to very mediocre music. Like, I swear to God, whoever did these visuals, this shit looks so professional. Like, like you, you gotta pay top dollar. You really gotta be born in a rich ass family to get some visuals like this. I mean, oh my God, you see how clean this looks? I feel like I'd seen this. Sh I'd see this shit on television, man. This video is fucking amazing. I can't even. I can't even be upset. Like the the, the production quality is really fucking good. You see that shit? You see that shit, right? You see that? Bro, that is the coolest shit I've ever seen in my life. Bro! Dude, that's so cool! Wow! That's such a good effect. I, how can I even pay attention to the music when the when the video is this good? It's not fair! The beat does kind of slap. I, I really... It, it music kind of sucks, but you know what? I won't let it take away from the fact that this is all a very tolerable experience from the visuals. Not only tolerable, I'd argue that the visuals and beat cross this over into entertaining territory. Unfortunately, it's a lot of money poured into a very weak product. And, and unfortunately, once you're able to actually look past the visuals, uh, you realize that the song is really weak. No, no, no. Like, here, let's, let's do an experiment. Let's take away the visuals, and let's just listen to the song. The mixing shit. Oh, it's so bad. That explains everything. That explains everything. Mori Calliope is not about, you know, casual racism or telling people uh, with depression that they're faking it and they should, you know, off themselves, much like the Demon Dice stuff. This is just, at worst, boring. So. curious about the demon Sife stuff but you don't want to listen to okay allow me to do a palate cleanser all right can eat you fucking wasps fools and suckers today's english phrase of the day is nothing to fuck with any questions no how about a demonstration oh, yo fuck to see i suck as if i do it free wanna see on a sack london bridge is falling down bitches where the money at i'm on that knickknack patty wag even big whoo <laughs> Oh shit, it's so bad. Just heart attacks and psych on set and CDs and no, I'm not a fan of toe. So is I kind of your end, fuck, I don't play the shit, yo. And there it is. <laughs> and there it is. You want to know about Demon Dice? There you go. That's, that's a, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's just Demon Dice in a nutshell. That's the song. That's part of the song. It's Family Feud type beat. <laughs> I didn't realize how much better a boring song could sound than an awful song while sounding bad. Oh, while still sounding bad? Oh yeah, I get what you're saying. The video is absolutely stellar, and I'm going to say that the video is like a 10 out of 10. Uh, I'd say like an 8 out of 10 videos. Actually, yeah, I'd say the video is like a 9 out of 10. I'd say the song's like a 3 out of 10. And I think it averages out to about uh, a 10 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? Smiley ball! Woo!
<laughs> Next song is Red. Now these lyrics kind of suck ass. Now the lyrics have sucked ass this entire time, but I'm telling you right now, man, Critic Bradley, I don't give like he he doesn't exist here. Okay, this is this is casual sitting back and just suffering with you guys, Brett. God damn it, man! I I thought this was gonna be an easy listening experience. You know what I mean? Oi, this is so boring. This song is literally, it's got 12 million views. I'll always, I can't turn back time. I'll always be a prisoner to my ambition. It's the biggest load of shit ever. My God, dude, get me the fuck out of here. This song is a red headphones. I think it's incredibly Dog. boring. Like, like ridiculously boring. Like I, 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 I lose brain cells with this song. All right. Bradley, that's not real criticism. That's, you're just saying blah, 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 blah. That's right. That's why it's called Brad Taste and Music, okay? If you want objective criticism, all right, you can go watch my video on uh, on Harry Styles. This is uh, this is VTuber crap. Spiral tones, the same part of the same shit. I don't know what this is. Lil Dicky. Chris Brown. Yeah. Pitbull. Imagine, take a look, is it true? Your age and you're an urban bird that's got a lot to say. Like a spiral, or they say out of control. Only just skip spinning still for that so stick committed to the sick vibes, good news this. You ain't gotta be held back, but status quo. When the odds are stacked, we'll make a bad and show the world. Alright, I get the point. Next! Next song, Bully. These visuals are stunning. Who the fuck works on this shit? You see this? Chicks are even thinking this shit doesn't suck. She's dressed up in whoa! Whoa! Pause on this frame, ladies and gentlemen. This... Look away, okay? I'm telling you, man. You, you don't want to be put on that watch list, alright? This is... This is not... This is not good, alright? You do not... You do not want to be put on that watch list, okay? This is not... This is not good. Yo, hey, whoa, 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 hey, 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 okay, this, this, this is not okay, okay, this is not good, Brad, stand up, I can't, I broke both my legs, they're, un they are unfunctional legs, okay, there's no blood running towards my legs right now, okay, it's all in other places. I'm gonna be honest, I have not paid attention to a single moment of this song, I, I, I'm, I actually have to hide this video, or else I, I will not be able to pay attention to the song. Christ. Damn, the visuals on this one are insanely good, you say, huh? See, that's the thing. That's the unfortunate thing. Is I'll hide the video for you guys, but I'm going to be watching the video on my end uh, for, for research purposes, okay? So I can get the full experience of this, uh, of this. all right? So, let's start over, because I have no idea what this song even is. Hey, it's okay. You guys will be okay. You'll be okay. I promise. <laughs> oh, I was not doing anything. I mean, she's not a great singer in general. She's got this really raspy voice. I, I really feel like the whole thing is just this makeup act and bullshit. What are you talking about? I can sing this. All right. She dressed up in diamond dust, a lover of decay, coated lashes, soul of ashes. What more can I say? Loving you. Killing you, isn't it thrilling? It's gonna sound a lot better in post, trust me. Same shit, different toilet. That's that's my favorite saying right there, man. It's one of the most ambitious songs this person's actually done, by the way. The actual, uh, the, I, the idea of this song is solid. I just don't think the singing is all that great. It's a four-minute song. Oh my sweet mother of God! There is 
That is, homie. Someone had to draw the lines. The the. She got those the the the. You know what I'm saying? Like the fuck. Oh my God! You've got to be kidding me, dude. I I've lost I've lost track of this song. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Bully is the best song Maury Calliope has possibly ever given out and probably the only smiley ball I might ever give this person. I think that uh, it goes beyond the visuals. I, I, I think that, you know, it's not just the visuals that make this song amazing. You know, the song itself is pretty good. You know, there's this music happening. Okay, it's music. Um, you know, there's... So, um... <clears throat> Uh, no, actually, though, it's a good song. I'm, I'm, like, not shitting you. All jokes aside, I actually think the writing here is really solid. I think that this is the most solid flow. This is one of the most clear, like, ambitious tracks. Um, I think that the instrumental is solid. I don't love this song. It's not something I'd really come back to, but I actually think that this is the most solidly executed thing that this person's actually come out with. Tina, come get your man. <laughs> Yeah, it's missing the uh, Family Feud buzzer. All right, there's one last song here on this thing, but I can't find it anywhere. I don't know. I don't really care enough. All right, next song, End of a Life. It's got 10 million views. Run right through those nights. Wow, this actually sounds really good. The lyrics still suck, but... You was my girl, I used to ride around with you. Now, I don't know what to do without you. Yeah, I don't ever really want to thought you again. Girl, please, you were my tan. I was wrong in the first place, but you know, it's the worst place that I was born in. Cause I grew up in the hood, but it wasn't actually the hood. But I know a thing or two about pain and violence. Yeah, it's violence and silence. You know, I got the fights, yeah. I'm like a giant, I'm like the green giant, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm green and mean, like a fighting machine, call me Shrek. Oh girl, you know, I was a wreck, but now I'm better. Girl, I you forgot your sweater, yeah. Oh no, the beat's amazing, this piano beat sounds great. But you know what's the unfortunate part about this artist? It's very little that she does actually comes off more as uh, as anything more than fronting, as they say. I just feel like there's always a level of insecurity with what this person does that keeps these songs from feeling like they actually work in any sort of environment. And that is why, and that is basically, I could I could end the video here with just that. That's the thing is this person has literally nothing to prove and the music sounds like it. No, I'm so bored, I can't, I'm so bored. Can we pretend that airplanes and night sky like shooting stars? I can really use a wish right now, a wish right now, a wish right now. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky like shooting stars? It's like five minutes long. It's shit like five minutes long. Look, I can understand if someone came up to me and said, yo, even nice as shit, but you gotta listen to this, and they showed me this, I'd be like, yeah, this is a massive improvement. Still not my thing. All right, next. Next song, Crown. Uh, it's not the song by her, but featuring her. Yeah, exactly. It's like her other shit, but with like significantly better beats and mixing. Like just there's a, a much larger budget behind it. How long am I streaming for? Pff, however long it takes. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Donald Trump. I got all that money coming, Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah, Donald Trump. Bitch, I run this city like I'm Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah. Bitch. Bro, what? Cause I'm a nerd? That's the fuck? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> nothing, dude. Nothing killed the mood faster than that shit. <laughs> Ghost face killer, but good. I want to see if I can find that. Uh, I heard a nerdcore song recently. It was one of the worst songs I've ever heard. This is what I'm looking for. Now, this shit about to make Demon Dice look like the goat. I'm not kidding you. You're, you're, you are not ready. Like you, you. Don't let this cover deceive you into thinking that you're about to hear a good song. This is not a good song. It's only got three dislikes too, by the way. My God. All right, you ready? My life is like a video game. Now with MC Pound Block, you gotta burst. Get ready, play it too. You're going home in a hearse. Spitting bars, racing cars, grabbing stars, running bars. Super Mario Pack game strong. She jumped on me like Donkey Kong. So not to be that asshole, but your princess, she's in another castle. Smoke a piranha plants, filming my long rant. Spitting on bubble bubble, that's no fairy in my bottle. I'm Popo Nana, the way I climb the charts. It's a goon to a mob, but the way I take your heart can't stop me. Bo Jackson, excite like with all this action. A fine art, I'll remain undaunted. Oh my god, yeah, so Danny Brown, yeah, yeah. He's the greatest rapper all the time. <laughs> I told you, you ain't ready. You ain't ready. This is one of uh, this is one of uh, Maury Calliope's best flows right here, off the bat, immediately. Never mind, it's the same exact shit. What am I kidding? This is boring shit. All right, next graveyard shift, Calliope Maury featuring uh, Boogie. So this is uh, this is the other collaboration, but this one is on Mariah uh, Maury's channel. Okay, Living Tombstone Core. This is so bad. Oh my sweet mother of God, this is so bad. You think this one goes hard? This is the worst. This this is the worst. Oh my God, it's so bad. It does sound like an Alcatraz reject, yeah. Listen to the Caravan Palace once. <laughs> Oh my god. Dog Palette cleanser after this? I mean, I played this song earlier, but I'll play it again because it's so fucking good. You think you... I feel like it immediately tells a story, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, fuck you said that shit you said if you ain't mean it. Uh, he at your boy. What about that shit you said that did when I was broke me and some uh, huh. Now are you feeling me, baby? Or do you need it more? What the fuck I'm still here walking around if you were dead? Why you hate you know you lame, you know you ball. Shake it up, G, I see you. You niggas, I know that's common. What you said that did when I was broke? Yeah, and what about Hmm. Do you understand, like, I, I really hope I don't have to explain to you why Sick, Nervous, and Broke just, like, highlights how incredibly dull the last two hours of listening to basically the same nothing background noise, no interesting flow, uh, like, lo-fi hip-hop bullshit is nothing compared to the innovative, groundbreaking, amazing work from Peggy. I mean, oh my god, this song is catchy. It has one of the best hip hop beats I've ever fucking heard in my life. The flow is incredible. The, the production is so interesting and dynamic. It's too experimental for you. Yeah, of course, yeah. Anyways, I'm skipping this song. This song sucks. Myth or treat happy Halloween song. Yeah, 
You know what? Having a palate cleanser really does highlight how shit this music is. Has it always been this shit? Was it always this bad? I feel like I, I've just lost track of everything. Like, like you just you hear a song as good as Peggy, and then you hear some shit like this, and you just kind of. It has always been this bad. God damn it. <laughs> Future Bradley here. It wasn't always this bad. Uh, listening to a song as amazing as Tired, Nervous, and Broke um, absolutely took me to another world. I mean, that song transports you. The, the, like, you've got to just listen to it front to back. Like, there's just no other feeling like a track like that. Something so immaculately put together. Which, by the way, completely self-produced by Peggy. Um, incredible, incredible, incredible. Now, the myth or treat is so fucking bad that I want to skip e editing this video. It's so shit. Oh, God. So this is what it's like for the casual listener who doesn't listen to any good music and listens to nothing but more Recalliope. <laughs> also, this shit will put you on a watch list. <laughs> oh, God. Next. I'm not. That is so bad. Which, what was this one I was thinking of? Packing a lunchable. He got. He had to add a gunshot to make the beat legitimate. You know. Do you know how hard it is to go from that back to Mori? I. I really wish I didn't listen to JPEG Mafia. I wish I didn't do a palate cleanser, because this shit makes it so much harder to listen to what I'm listening to. You don't get it. You just don't get it. All right. Next song, Don Blue. And that's the other thing. Demon Dice Karen is a white girl who was born in America, went to a Christian school, and then all of a sudden decided that they were born Japanese. It's not even offensively bad. It's just nondescript and boring. It is so fucking boring. It is so fucking boring. Journey like a thousand years. Here we go. We haven't even gotten to Demon Dice. I don't want to continue this shit, man. Roblox Tycoon Instrumental Excuse me I want to check on uh, Zara Larson oh. Poor Zara dude She was up to 20k at some point Yeah fuck this shit Next song uh, Calliope Mori featuring Gar Gar Gura Calliope I swear, the music must have always been this bad. I, I I swear to God, dude, it's like, I listen to JPEG Mafia, and all of a sudden my brain wakes up. Like, I was in a coma for the first half of this shit, like, zoning out. I can't zone out anymore. Don't bite the hand that feeds you if it's holding a knife. That's so deep, dude. That's so deep. <laughs> This is pleasureless music. Overblown, mixed like shit, uninteresting, weak lyrics, red headphones. I, I, I feel like I'm going crazy. Dog. You guys don't even understand. I, because the problem is, is I don't like this, but I also don't see enough of a difference between this and uh, the other shit that I was listening to earlier. Makes me think that I was a little bit crazy earlier, but I really hope I wasn't. I hope when I listen to these songs over again um, that I do find value in some of the ones I heard earlier and that I'm just not super crazy on this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what the f is that side boob? Wow, that's not clickbaity at all. Okay, we got an album. This album's called Unalive. It's got a 29 out of 100 average rating. It's got like a bunch of songs, like nine songs, and then two versions of these last two songs. We got we got a journey here. First track, Huge W, I think. 
And it says the first one's on alive. I don't know. It's mixed up. Meta breakers, you're not alone. There was someone who actually went through, and I was looking at this earlier today. It was really interesting. Someone who went through the entirety of Demon Dice's discography. Like, the only thing that they've contributed to this website was their reviews of Demon Dice. Here it is. This person has written, and I mean this, like, huge fucking essays for every single Demon Dice project. And I started reading them, and they're really good. They're worth reading. But they, too, were a fan of, like, their stuff. Quoting tons of lyrics, like, like that's all this person's contributed to society, which is a fucking W in my opinion. I mean, being able to sit through all this shit. Also, these ratings look about right. Ugh, yeah, this is um, this song sounds like horse shit. It sounds like absolute dog shit, and we're forty seconds in, and it's completely unlistenable. <laughs> What? Lost boys, lost boys. So yeah. Point taken. Oh yeah, the mix is terrible. Mori sounds awful in it. 360 no scope, it is. This is like thinking you won in an argument because you scream louder. <laughs> oi, oi, it's so bad. Next song, Unalive, Japanese version. Uh, I don't know where the other version is. I only see the Japanese version. So let's assume that this is official version. Compressed to Japanese fuckland. Genshin ad music. The song is over five minutes, by the way. I, that's the other thing is we, we gave up on Huge W about like a minute into it. Like, that's the thing about these songs. They're so bad, I don't want to give them more than a minute. Like, they're just so unlistenable. Like, wow. I, I, I mean, I saw that this had, like, a pretty bad score. I, I do not think that I, I could not have... Like, what? How? How is the... I mean, I understand how, because this is always what's happened. Like, when she works on an album, it goes downhill. When she has, like, a one-off single, like, it can be okay. But in album mode, this person just goes down the shitter so quickly. <laughs> That is actually one of the worst songs she's ever made. She's just trying to annoy the shit out of you. Alright, Dead on Arrival, next song. Oh no. Okay, this is quite literally, I swear I've heard this exact fucking electro swing song before that has just been sped up. You guys are laughing, but 10 years from now, this is going to be seen as her uh, 808s and heartbreaks, okay? Unfortunately, though, I'm one of those people who hates this. I'd give this a right headphones. But in Dog. 10 years, I'll admit I was wrong. I will. It's true. Just, just stick around and wait. That was horrible. Holy shit. That was terrible. This is like her electro noise album. Next song, Scuffed Up Age. Oh, that's the thing is everything is so compressed. Everything is like nauseatingly mixed. Like there is not a single bit of dynamics. It is just a wall of noise. Like like it was sandwiched and just like package delivered in a space bag. I mean, this thing is 
fucking nothing. Supposed to sound bad, it's experimental. You hate this one significantly less? Yeah, because it has a bump. Because it's not all compressed into a sandwich. Why is every song five minutes long though, dude? Seriously, like, like it's already difficult sitting down and listening to this for one minute. But five minutes? Like, dude. Fun fact, Mori didn't hype this album, just released it with five days of anticipation. Maybe she knew it was bad. This thing seems like a failed abortion. I mean, wow, that is not a very nice thing to say, but you know what I'm saying. All right, that's it, it does feel like it was uh, meant to be scrapped, but came out anyways. This album is a fucking mess. It is as bad as the Demon Dice stuff, and all of a sudden I'm realizing that the early stuff, it could not have been this bad, right? Like, Dead Beats was okay, right? Wow, this is still shit. Hold on. No, there's moments here where I'm spacing out and it's fine. Yeah, like, the lyrics suck, but there's still something here that kind of bumps, and you're still able to follow along with it. Why does this album feel 10 years old? Good question. It actually, uh, it sh that's actually the best question ever. It really does sound like it should have been released, like, 10 years ago. This, this came out this year in March. Anyways, people are gonna say, Bradley, you're not giving constructive criticism. This all sounds like compressed dog shit to me. Anime weeb music with a really terrible, terribly mixed instrumental. Look, I'm not a die-hard Mori fan, okay? I can't look past everything that sucks about this song to hear my queen speaking to me, okay? This is, this to me just sounds like shit music. Someone with the anime profile picture says I'm an old hag. I'll take that. I'm 22 years old, but I guess I'm an old hag. Oh, you, oh, you referred to Mori! Ha <laughs> Lose Lose Days has some of the most interesting instrumental elements, but it's still boring ass weeb music, which I know what you're thinking, Bradley. Why the fuck are you listening to all of her songs if you're going to complain about boring ass weed music? Isn't that what you expected? Yep. Alright, next song, Resting Power. Oh yeah, no, that's the thing is I hate this album, but luckily I haven't actually sit through any of these songs all the way through. That would be impossible. Why is the piano so loud? Because the mix is shit. I mean, easy question. I mean, but that being said, it was... Not a question that was meant to be answered. Yeah, the uh, the mix of this entire album is horseshit, which is unfortunate because it's clear that they spent a lot of time on these instrumentals. Songs about demon dice, pull up the lyrics. Started like a whisper, but grew as I flew. At times, I almost miss her. Just do as I do. We can't lose. It's confusing, but I need you to trust me. She's plugging up her ears in pure rebellion. It must be fear of contradicting a life of the unliving. These are actually decently written, by the way. This This isn't that bad. A voice of vitriol pissed at y'all, yet forgiving. Even so, I'm failing to walk towards her nails on a chalkboard. Swing the scythe, but she talks back with a bright chord. Like, some of this shit's really not that bad. This is actually some of her best writing, period. Like, this actually feels like the most straightforward, easy to follow along with shit. Oh yeah, no, that's the thing. The lyrics do sound better read out. That's the entire... Everything about... Mori is like her, her she's just so, comes off as so fake like she's just playing up everything as much as possible because she's afraid that people are going to see her as someone who's like white and has nothing to say because they they have like this huge imposter syndrome which it's like if you do then maybe you know tone it back a bit but you can't when you're doing something like this when, when you're making this anime type shit she she must believe that everything has to be as overblown as possible or else she's going to lose the spotlight and that's at least my prediction if, if I had to guess Oh, wow. Dynamic Editor consistently asking amazing questions. Brad, earlier you said she had nothing to prove to me. It seems contradictory to you saying she's just des desperately posturing. Are you, uh, am I missing something? No, that's an incredible point. Um, I actually think that early on... No, actually, yeah, early on you can tell that when she wasn't really trying as hard. You know what? I don't know. That's a really good point. Because uh, you're right. I do think that this comes off more posturing and like trying hard. As opposed to her early music, which just sounds like her doing whatever. Because I like to diss myself along with all of my friends. Like, this is still bad, but it just seems less serious, right? I guess that you could say that I'm old-fashioned and so snaggle. Like, this doesn't read to me as someone who's trying too hard. But what does is, uh, is this shit. What did I get you out with a rock and a 
Yep, exactly. She sounds like she's having fun. And that's one of the things that was charming about her first EP and why I actually thought it was okay. Oh, yeah, this album's insufferable. It's actually so bad. That album was horrible. As a Mori fan, that album really wasn't my favorite. No, that album is everything that this person should not have done. Like, this is terrible. I, I, I give it a 12 out of 100 because I give points for the actual, like... Like, the people working behind this clearly gave a shit about the instrumentals, and they put a lot of effort into it, and I feel like it's definitely worth a couple of points. I don't think it's a zero, like many of the other things are, but I really feel like this is one of the most unpleasurable albums I've heard in a while. Alright, next song, Wicked. Okay. Next song we got here is the Shinigami Boy EP. It's true. Yeah, yeah. Young Shinigami Boy. This is the uh, this is the project that got Mori Calliope canceled. Let me see if this is actually uh, here. It is actually. It does exist. It's right here. Okay. So this was an April Fool's joke. Everybody said, "Oh my God, uh, this is Mori doing blackface." And let me tell you right now. Now that I've listened to everything this person's done. I feel like I'll, I'll get the full context here, but I don't think this is blackface. I just think it's stupid. So here we go. Uh, C-Man. I mean, it's just terrible. Like, it's just awful. Awful music. Sounding like Dr. Dre, Eminem era shit, but like... But like... <laughs> Look at me, guys. <laughs> Sorry, who's the one to bring that boss back? Yeah, this is bad, but it's intentional. That's the thing, though, is this has ironic value, but actually has, like, ironic value outside of the intentional ironic value because it is, like... Like, I could imagine sending this to someone because it's so bad. You know what I mean? It's 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 a terrible joke album, but it also becomes a good joke album because of how terrible it is. You know what I mean? I'm just going to skip through this because this is terrible. Yeah! Yeah! I love how they actually finally pick decent beats, but, like, are too... Like, they're, they're just too unaware of it to ever actually imagine themselves doing something good over it. In your mom's house, Reaper, he commanded, walk in disaster, rubble, see us walk in street. Yeah, this is fucking horrible. This is so bad. Why is it better? Well, once you realize that it's a white girl, uh, making fun of rap culture in this extremely tasteless way... And you understand that she very much looks down on people who do this. It just makes it a lot less funny and a lot more cringe. Yeah, this is this is so bad. This is so bad. Then, a lot of motherfuckers complaining about my generation's rap. Like you so special and shit. Well, I got something to say to you. Who the fuck is doing this hate and ass sick? No, they got to think it's special fast. Now I've got to swing the lyric haters. But I'm fresh and they are thinking I'm clean. Clubbing with the homies, making money, riding the scene. So I can hit the bad game, play some L and real. Put your hands on my shoulders, thinking I want to play. Hey, go put your ear to go to bed with you. I'll be honest. <laughs> this is probably my favorite one out of here. Because <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad that it actually becomes... Yeah, exactly. Like, this, this, one, <laughs> this one is so bad it kind of breaks me. There we go. It's not racist. It's racial. Get it right. It's that simple. Okay? Breaker gives a great question says if we were to advise Callie on moving forward in music uh, where would you tell her to put the largest effort in improving wow that's a wonderful question let's think about that we could probably talk about that a little bit because uh, unfortunately I feel like the the issues 
lie in a couple of areas and not everything is Maury's fault. Like the production is really like just compressed to shit. Which is supposed it's supposed to be, you know, it's it's this whole style. It's it but it just makes it sound cheap and shitty. It, it, I, it's one of those weird situations where I feel like I just I don't even know where the fuck to start. Yo, Ali, four minutes ago, says, Hey, Brad, I heard you mentioning a struggle with this association. I've been having the same experience for years after a bad... Thank you, Ali. What's up, guys? It's Future Bradley. So I end up having a breakdown that I don't really want to uh, show here. But basically, I remember my disassociative episodes that kind of caused me to feel the way I do now. And I had a bit of a meltdown. But you guys were wonderful. You showed amazing support. Uh, so let's just let's just skip skip to the music. Here we go. It might have looked it, it looks like I'm crying, but it's because the Maury music is just so inspirational. It's got me teary eyed. So anyways, we're almost done with this. It's just incredible music. It really is. It's it's bringing it's bringing me to my knees. Uh, let's continue with this song. I feel like I've heard this song done a million times before. Holy shit, this is bad. Yeah, this stream's been three hours long. And, uh, yeah, it's been rough the entire time. This, uh, this music sucks. Alright. Next song, uh, Mira Mira. Mira Mira on the Wall. Mariah, K uh, Carey Lopi is the greatest rapper of them all. Tommy to cosita. Hey, Tommy to cosita. That drop was horrible. Oh my sh holy shit. Shit song, but she's got some nice titties. That's pretty much everything uh, from this artist period. Is uh, the anime titties on point. The animation, pretty great. The videos, pretty impressive. Great animation, really stellar. The music, yeah, this sounds like uh, like the most mediocre artist of all time catapulted to the highest of pedestals that you could possibly put them. And that's about my entire. I, I that's that's it. That's that's my wraparound of the entire catalog of Mori Ka uh, Calliope. Is that she is a flavor of the month artist who will burn out because I mean I could barely even remember what her fucking name is because she continues to make these same boring ass karaoke like anime opener garbage every single time now I will say the early stuff where she was just having fun with it was significantly better than the demon dice stuff but once she started taking it super seriously it was just as shit as the demon dice stuff you could tell that she was having fun in the very beginning and you can tell that she wasn't later on that's it it's horrible. It gets horrible. That's all I got. All right, guys. We did it. We got through everything, everything in the kitchen sink. We did it. Besides the Lo-Fi album, which you're not, you can't fucking pay me to listen to that. The only thing that changes are the beats. All right. Happy, happy birthday to anyone whose birthday it is. All right. Uh, Deuterized. Future Brad gonna give this a ten out of ten of all time. Oh yeah, of course. 